Hello and welcome to chapter 3, lecture number 5. So in the previous lecture we created the sphere setup with uh, this object with the light in the camera and now we will add some color on the sphere and make some renders to show you how to work with nodes. And because I didn't tell anything yet, uh, it's time to focus on it for now. So left click on the sphere, go to the material tab and you can see the name of this material is material point zero zero one. If you haven't add a, a material, uh, delete it, new, and call this sphere uh, material. Right, so now we have a name for it. So we're good to go now. Um, what I want to do is focus now on the, the nodes. So this is called principled BSDF, and this is the main uh, shader input to create a material. You can also see a material output. So if I deselect it, put it right there. If I put it out of the surface and we make a render, it will turn black. So the main node needs to be connected with the surface. There also is also a volume input, but we won't work with volumes now. And also the displacement will be ignored uh, in this lecture. So we have the sphere and we want to add some color. So if you look at all the inputs, it can be a little bit uh, intimidating, but we only want to uh, need to focus on the base color, the roughness and the normal map. So you also have specular, but I only use the specular for uh, as a slider to increase or decrease the specularity after adding an image on the roughness. And there are many other uh, inputs we use the subsurface color for the dice, but we will ignore it for now because we don't need it. Good, focusing on the sphere. Let's say if we change this color from the sphere to a red color, like the dice, it changed. So we, 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 we know that, how that works. But what happens if we mix two separated colors? So if you have paint, you have, for example, the red color and a green color, and you mix these two, or red and blue, what will happen? I will show you that if we go to add color and mix RGB. So this mix node allows you to mix two separated colors. So we pick the red one, and let's say we go for blue. So if I put this into the base color, there should be a purple image. So it's now using the red, but if I input it, it makes it purple because it's using 50% of the red and 50% of the blue. If I slide this to the left, it will be red and so on. If I move it to the right, it will be a blue sphere. So let's keep it 0.5 just to make it clear. What I want to do now is add the two colors, the blue and the red on the sphere but without mixing them. So I want to see the separated colors in a sort of a pattern on the sphere. So for this, I want to use an add texture, a noise texture. So, and I want to use the pattern from the noise. If I put this into the base color, you can see there are all sort of colors. What I like to do is I want to make these colors black and white and put this black and white information into the factor. So if you do that, you can say, I want the red image on the black spots and the blue image on the white spots. It sounds maybe a little bit confusing, but let's, let's try this. To make the noise texture uh, black and white, we need to add a color ramp. So we go to add, converter, color ramp. All right, so we put the color information into the factor. And to show you how that looks, we put it in the base. Now the colors are black and white, but they are still very diffused. So if you slide these two to each other and grab them, something like this, yes. You can see we now have black and white uh, and they are sort of mixed. 
and you can change the pattern by changing the scale. Let's say we'll make this two. There are bigger shapes, even one, even huge. But let's make four or three. Let's think and the detail makes it more sharp. You can say there's a more sharper, but I think three will work out as well. So if we put the information from the color ramp into the factor, the red will be on the black spots and the blue on the white. So we need to put this information in the color. Um, and yes, and you can invert it by just changing these two. All right, so I think we go for even for four. So it's nice uh, separated on the sphere. And I think I will change the blue color to a green because that looks a little bit better. All right, so we have green and red now mixed with each other without blending these uh, totally with each other so we get this uh, blended color for uh, it was for red and blue with mixed purple but now we have uh, sort of extruded these colors so we have them on sphere nice so the final thing i like to do is do something with the specula so right now we have the roughness and the roughness is all over the sphere and it has the same value, it's 0.5. If I make this, let's say zero, it's now fully reflective. And I think the blue color is a little bit um, distracting. So let's change the sky color to an HDRI and open it. And we will turn it back in a second, but this shows it a bit better. All right, as you can see, we can now see this, this uh, sphere is fully reflective. If we put this uh, roughness to one, it's a diffuse ball. So because this image uh, HRI is a little heavy, it needs some uh, calculation time. So the final thing I like to do in this lecture is say, I want only the red spot to be reflective and the green to be diffused. So the only thing you need to do is put the same output into the roughness and look what will happen. Need some calculation time. And you can see the red is now reflective and the green is totally diffused. And you maybe think, why is this necessary? Well, for all kind of uh, methods. And I'm going to show you that in the following lectures, why this is such a powerful tool to work with. Because in the end, um, all the material blending looks a little bit like this setup. We will make it more complicated, so we will make a bigger node tree, but in the end, it all comes back onto blending it and using the factor. So um, uh, it's pretty much this. And if you say, I want the green to be reflective and not the red, uh, what I do, you can switch these two colors. That's the one thing. But if you want to keep the same information what i do is i go to add color invert and i just invert these two um, black and whites so then the green is fully reflective as you can see it's looking good all right so this is the end of uh of this lecture i hope you enjoyed and that you know a little bit more about notes uh, we will go more into that, as I promised, uh, but uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And there is documentation. If you want to look back how, how it all works, uh, just take a look at it and ask me the questions on the dashboard if you want to, if something is unclear for you. All right. See you in the next lecture. Bye-bye.